that's the name of the game. Illinois comes out with something, SIUE's turn to, to, to make some adjustments. So now Erica Porter seems to be the hot hand for Illinois, but she's not in right now, so let's see if SIUE can take advantage of that, or if Illinois can find someone else to carry the load. As Gabby in it makes the bucket. And Illinois right now has four great shooters. See if maybe they can try to utilize the game outside the perimeter. One of that quick press and it pays off right away. Everybody is up on that bench for the Cougars. Just seems like the intensity, the momentum's always been on the Cougars side this game. Let's look at that here. Just takes a quick first step. Cut in it. Over to Kennard, looking to drive. She will. And a nice move inside. Now a seven point lead for the Cougars. Well, Ono needs to find a way to break this press, settle offensively, get some easy buckets. Brown in the corner. That worked for her in the first quarter. It works for her again. Yeah, I was saying, I'd like to see her get going more because she, she caught the hot hand early on in this game. She's not afraid to pull from that beat. And a spin move now from Michaela Hall, and she answers. Just seems like after each bucket for Illinois, SIU comes right back down, but Illinois is slow to get back when SIU puts one in the cup. Anastasieska couldn't get it, but Kendall Bostic is right there for sixth rebound. And right back we go, trading chances for chances, and that will put Michaela Kennard at the line. I mean, that's what we're talking about, though, just Illinois puts one in the cup, SIU is already running the floor. And you need to get back on defense and uh, prevent an easy bucket. Both teams with some very fast offenses as we talked about. Yeah, I mean, three Illinois players right there and still two offensive boards sending Kennard to the line. Kennard great in transition, thrives on that fast offense and hence she fits well into that SIUE offense. We talked about how Kendall Bostick a few games ago fitting well into the Illinois offense. Well, Kennard, she fits well into the quick SIUE offense. So she will get one of two there. Brown's coming up a little limp. See if Fake holds a timeout. Or keeps on playing. Peebles looking to make something happen. Drives inside, nice move, too strong. Bostic right there, yep. couple of tips, still unable to convert, and that's been a theme in this game too. Illinois getting the looks, but unable to convert. Now off a nice pass from Webb, and SIUE will go to the line. You can hear that bench screaming. They are energized, they are in this game, and they are in control right now. You betcha. Pass, I mean, just uh, someone who's unaccounted for down the low block. And that should not be happening to where you get a wide open layup and now you have to follow her, send it to the line. So now Prima Chellis. First off the bench usually for SIUE and her greatest strength is her unpredictability in the sense that her shot chart is all over the place. You don't know where she favors at each game. You don't know where she's going to take it. So here, pretty stationary shot chart right here from the free throw line, and she'll get the points. And again, Illinois trying to figure out what works, trying to match personnel, trying to find something that will get some points on the board and chew into this SIUE lead. And Jayla Odin coming into the game along with Adelia McKenzie. I mean, the Cougars have consistently showed that they've been a step ahead throughout this whole game. Not a lot of off-ball movement from Illinois either. And an offensive foul right there. Anastasieska tried to drive and it didn't work. Because of that lack of off-ball movement from Illinois, it looks like they're playing isolated. One-on-one, one-on-two on one, one here. It's just easy for, for Treckler to set up there and take the charge. I mean, we keep on saying it time and time again. You want to talk about where the momentum is, it's with the Cougars. And Illinois coming into this game, Third home game in a row, they think they can waltz in here, take an easy win. The Cougars are here to show you that you can't do that. 
And already the fourth on Anastasieska. With 13 minutes to go in the game. Kennard trying to drive, kick out. Three and no. A little hesitant. Not sure what she was thinking there. But Kennard is getting active offensively. Definitely, especially in the facilitator role right here. It was the threes in the first half. Now it's setting others up, trying to spread the load. McKenzie driving, nice move. Bostic will go to the line. And yeah, McKenzie showed that she's still staying aggressive offensively. I mean, shots aren't falling a whole lot, but you know, when you take it close to the basket, you give your teammates like Bostic an opportunity to get an offensive rebound, get her going as well. So Bostic, the Michigan State transfer, heading to the line. Currently sitting at 10 rebounds, Bostic is, for second game with double figures in the rebounds category, had 14 points and 17 boards in the first game against NC Central. And she hits both, cuts down the lead to four. And she's played almost every minute of this game. And driving, going right back, answering his cellist. And Nancy Faye seen enough. Yeah, Lyric Robbins checked into the game right there and allowed a blow by Chellis. We'll take a break and come back here on Big Ten Plus. SIUE expanding their lead up to six.